force focuses on elemental damage using techniques like fire, ice, and lightning. And each technique has chargeable PAs that have different variations to each of them. They mainly use rod weapons and talus weapons. So this is what the skill tree would look like when first coming into it. It is long, but this video will cover all that needs to be shown. But uh, yeah, but without further ado, let's get into it. We will start with PP conversion. PP conversion is an active that increases PP recovery and decreases HP. Pretty handy if you need to regen PP faster. And PP conversion increase is a passive to the PP conversion active that increases usage from one stock to two stocks. PP recovery boost and eradication PP gain also increases PP regeneration with which makes force a very reliable subclass. Technique charge PP well up lets you regenerate PP while charging your techniques. Rest of field lets you heal other players when you use the rest of sign in the same area. The AoE is massive. Have Force and Tekker both have this skill. Slow landing charge lets you charge your techs while falling slowly in midair. All classes except for fighter have access to this skill when charging attacks. All right, so here's where Force gets really interesting. Um, we'll start it off with Bar Bartoblot. This triggers when attacking the enemy with ice techniques. It has to be uncharged or it will not work. Once you hit the enemy with uncharged techniques, the spell counter will show up at the enemy side. The counter will look like a quote unquote Triforce and kind of thing. No, this is not Zelda. <laughs> you can charge that mark up to two times and detonate that mark. To detonate it, just simply charge an ice technique and unleash it to the enemy with the mark to do bonus damage. Zondi clad, requirement is the same. Attack the enemy with uncharged lightning attacks and you'll see a ring pop up around your character. I'm pretty sure this one only has one charge, but yeah, uh, same thing like the ice one. Just attack the enemy with the charged lightning tech attack and you'll do bonus damage. You'll notice a red lightning effect after the purple ones after pulling it off. Photon Flare is also inactive, increasing your max PP and damage. Photon Flare has two passives. Photon Flare Short Charge lets you charge your techniques faster, but the damage is lowered. And Photon Flare After PP gain triggers when the timer for Photon Flare expires. The PP you use within the time uh, Photon Flare was activated is recovered. Elemental Bullet is tricky, as it is a counter mechanic for force. So how the counter works, with, with each element that we have so far, so we have Fire, Ice, and Lightning, if you guard with a weapon action, the photon bullets trigger when you use a technique. Here's the kicker though. Depending on the element that you're using after the guard, the bullets will change color. For example, if the since fire is red, the bullets will turn red. If uh, you're using ice and ice is blue, the bullets will turn blue. And same thing with lightning and since it's purple, the bullets will turn purple. Rod Technique Hold lets you keep your charge status if you hold the technique and dodge or sidestep while charging. You will keep the charge status and you won't lose PP. Maintain PP Gain will refund your PP after attacking with the technique if you stay idle or slightly move. If you attack or dodge or technically dash after using a technique, this passive won't even work. Rod React Advance triggers after successfully dodging or guarding and using any techniques. You'll turn into a, a little sphere white ball and this also grants you a bit of iframe. And if you learn the, uh, the elemental bullet passive, you'll be able to shoot bullets while having iframes into a little sphere ball and yeah. So the next three skills are related to Talus weapons. Both Force and Tekker have access to these skills. The Tricky Capacitor is inactive. It's like Ranger's Spreadshot where you charge it by attacking with a rifle weapon. But this one, you charge the Tricky Capacitator active by attacking with a Talus weapon. And uh, when you activate it, you'll, th you'll then spawn spiritual talismans and fire towards the enemies. Floating Pillbox is related to talis uh, weapons actions. Where you spawn a talisman card thing in the air and it will attack enemies in its range. This grants you two options. 
One, you can either press the weapon action while moving and fire one blast at a time, or two, stay stationary with no movement inputs and attack multiple enemies with the weapon action, blasting more than one enemy in, in its range. Talus Bloom Revoke lets you revert back to normal tech casting. Talus has PAs that lets you alter attacks while mixing in tech elements either in projectiles or in AoE. You can revert back to normal tech casting by holding the weapon action. The ring around your character will disappear. And that's about it for the force skill tree. I hope this helped you uh, guys understand how the class works and enhance your gameplay either as a force main or subclass. If this guide helped you, leave a like, sub to the channel for more PSO2 content, and as always, happy grinding.